sons and daughters of God, remnant, sons and daughters of God, a lot of you guys are remnant and don't even know it. That's the thing. You see, we're really living in the last days. I have the one world government is all set up and ready to go. They're just waiting to implement it. Well, everything happens with God's permission. Nothing happens without his permission. So they got it ready. Any Christ, Christ is alive. He's got a seat. It's either in Germany or Belgium. I need to do my, go back and look at that. But it's called, it's a seat, 666 in, a, in his world headquarters. Nobody sits in it. They're just waiting for him to come. The false prophet is alive. He lives in Rome. You guys might know him very well. He's implementing um, the worldwide religion right now. He's got a conference in March to unify the all the world religions. Once again, he's already done it. They did it back in, I think it was two years ago. Back. Um, cashless societies all ready to go. They're just, um, they're getting it more and more ready. Uh, you're using credit cards to get everybody used to it, with a little chip in it and stuff like that. Um, the three witnesses, they'll be coming forth here in the middle of the next, this, this decade, 2020, 2025, such and around there. And um, then there'll be the tribulation after they're gone. Um, they might be here a little sooner than that. That's the Moses and the Elijah companies. But a lot of the remnant don't know that what their jobs will be, what they when they when two witnesses will get here and this is about um, uh, getting ready and not not waiting I mean the only way you're going to get ready is to press into God and get to know him really good and have a really a strong relationship with him start getting getting rid of the you know junk things out of your life you know that you know what they are you know you know the things that you need to work on you're serious about them and talk to God about them and help them get rid of them, help you get rid of them. Let them know that you don't want them anymore and um, they'll drop off. Some of them will drop off quick. Some of them won't drop off that quick. But the important thing is that you're working on them and they'll eventually drop off. But the Lord wants needs to know that you want them gone. And you got to talk to the Lord about that. You talk to him every day just like he's with you, like a, like a friend. Because you want to get to the point where you are genuinely a friend with the Lord, just like John did. John was a friend of God. And he's, a, he's our friend, but I mean a real friend, you know. He's our father also too. But it's really, it's really time to get ready. It's, I mean, you just don't want to wait. There's going to be a lot of fearful things happening here in the next decade. I mean, some really scary things are going to happen. And a lot of people are going to be shocked. They're not going to be ready. They're going to make a lot of wrong decisions. And that's what you don't want to do here in this next decade is make bad decisions. I mean, when the market of beast comes out, and if you have an option to, to take it because you can't buy a car, you can't pay your rent, you can't, uh, you know, go to the grocery store and buy food for your kids and stuff like that, you're probably going to take it if you're if you don't know what's going on or what's happening, you know, and that's what not what you want to do. <laughs> you don't want to take the market of beast. You want to believe in God. And you want to trust in God. But you got to get to that point. Where you actually believe in him and trust in him for your next meal and uh, for, to pay your bills, to pay your rent, or to get gasoline in your car, or to have a job where it doesn't, where you don't, you know, you can have a job and still get get by and stuff like that. That's it. That's going to be a good one because you know if you don't have that chip, you can't work, and you no know income. Then what? So trusting and believing God is not a option. An option. Now, sons and daughters of God, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. That's what the Holy Bible states. Be chosen. Choose to be chosen and be stubborn and stand for the Lord. And, you know, work on things in your life because that's that's your job. That's your task. Trials and situations, tribulations in your life. You know, that's part of it. You know, you were put here to be molded and shaped, tested and tried by God and made it made it as pure as you possibly can get, you know, as any man can get, which is really not that pure. But he wants us to try and strive for, for purity in the Lord. And that's that's all that you can do. And that's that's what he knows. He's not a he's, he's a very kind Lord. He's a very kind God. But he but he 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 wants us to be the best that we can possibly be. And he knows the, how good we can be as individuals. It's not a group thing. It's an individual thing. He walks with you very closely every day, listens to every word that you say, he knows every number that every hair that's uh, on your head and has a number for it. That's how close he is. That's how, how, how well he knows you. 
you know. And the amazing thing is you can do the same thing with me too and my wife and your each one of your kids. Have a great relationship with them all and everything. A great future and everything, you know. So just get ready. Get it, Get that mindset ready. Because when the bottom drops out of the, the stock markets all around the world and it crashes, there ain't going to be no money. It, the dollars that you have, they'll be worthless anyway. And then the jobs will be gone. And So there's a bunch of things that's, that's going to happen that you really need to believe in God and trust in God for. And, and you know, if you, if, you, if you want to be a part of the remnant sons and daughters of God with super, you know, super um, um, faith and all that, you can be. Just tell the Lord that's what you want to do. Tell him that's what you want to be. You know, your destiny is already set forth anyway. So, if it's written in your destiny, that's what you're going to be. But tell the Lord that's what you want to do. Because when the two witnesses come in before that, you know, this, these are operating now. See, there's, there's seven powers of God, seven angels of God. And he, they're inside of you and they're with you all of the time. But they're not fully activated in everybody right now. But they're, they're laying dormant. If you want these things to come to pass in your life, then there, there's seven of them. It's the, the spirit of the Lord. It's super powerful. you got the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of might, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. These are the seven powers, the powers of the age to come. And when, the, when two witnesses are walking on earth, when they, they won't be walking, they'll be over in Jerusalem ministering to us uh, through the airwaves and everything. And there will be cloud of witnesses also too. But when they're, um, when they're here, a lot of the saints of God will be using these seven powers, the powers of the age to come. They'll be translated all over the world. They'll be doing different things. They may be doing their thing locally. It just depends on what the Lord has in store for you. Or I don't know what he has in store for me. But, um, you know, you want to pray for these powers, these spirits to rise up inside of you, because these are forces. And they will be widely distributed and widely used by the sons and daughters of God. You remember what Jesus did when he was here? We're going to be able to do seven times more than him. I mean, he healed people. He raised people from the dead. He fed 5,000 people, men one time with their wives and kids, 3,000 with their wives and kids at one time. You know, he was healing people left and right, you know. And then he sent out, sent out um, 70, you know, disciples to do the same thing. And the same thing happened. And so whether we're, we're in the position of the 70 disciples, but only we're going to be doing seven times more. And you can be a part of this program here if you really want to. If you kind of understand, you got to understand that it's going to happen anyway. And these are forces. These are powers. These are his personalities. And these angels, they, uh, they dance around the throne of God all constantly all the time. They're amazing. And they have armies, too. They have armies. So you can get your own, you can get your very own um, spirit of the Lord to rest upon you. You can get your own very own personality of God and uh, wisdom and understanding, your own force of the spirit of counsel, the power of might, power of knowledge, fear of the Lord. That means, and I'll tell you a little bit about these things. I only know a little bit. I don't know a whole lot. I've been doing my research and studying, and I'm learning more and more all the time, which, of course, you should be, too. You should be pressing in and trying to learn about the Lord as much as you, you can. And, and look, at, look into the future. Look into the future of, like, like heaven and paradise. You know, imagine yourself there and, and because that's that's where you want to, you know, that's, you know, eternity is we're going to be we're trained being trained right now to be um, to serve God as as um, his sons and daughters to rule the universe. So you could think about that. Think about that. Those types of things, you know, and um, because this um, this program is just about over. You know, Jesus Christ is going to be coming back here in the next decade, probably the end of the next decade, setting up his throne for the millennium. But in between now and then, there's going to be a lot of tragedies and drama going on. And, man, I don't even want to get into it. And it's going to be, it's going to be powerful. And a lot of people are going to wish they weren't here, but it'll be over with soon. 
But if you want to be a part of the the remnant sons and God, daughters of God that are, that that have these forces, that have these powers, while the two witnesses are here, because it's going to be sweet. It's going to be nice. Spirit of the Lord, that says it all right there. You know the Lord. If you have that, you got love. You got righteousness. You got patience. You got kindness, gentleness, all the fruits of the spirit. Um, you ain't no temper. No, you don't have a bad temper. You have good judgment. You have all kinds of great gifts and talents with this spirit. And he's going to just give him, give it away. But you got to kind of earn your position when it comes to these these powers here. You can't go in there as a drunkard. You can't go in there as a, you know, someone who can't be trusted. If you you can't even go in there if you don't pay your tithes because. You know, you, you God can't if if you don't pay your tithes, you can't God can't trust you with money, because it's all His money anyway. You know, He, he says, I'll, "I'll I'll give you if if you can't if I can't trust you with a little, I'm not gonna trust you with a lot." So, tithes and offering are, are important. You know, feeding homeless and the hungry are very very important. That's charity. You know, that's love right there. You know, having compassion on your your fellow man. That's all in the spirit of the the Lord. And then, then we got the spirit of wisdom, which, you know, Solomon, King Solomon had the spirit, was smartest and wisest man on, that ever lived, you know, and, and there was a lot of wise men, you know, the spirit of understanding, the power to force, the personality of understanding. And this is from the Lord himself, not only to stand under God, but to really understand situations without even trying, without even having any knowledge about situations that you're walking into, you'll understand them. You'll be wise about them, and um, you can counsel the spirit of counsel, the force of counsel, the angel of counsel, and then there, there there's, there's ten thousand saints, the cloud of witnesses, also too, that are counselors too, and they will be there, ready and available, because their jobs are some. A lot of their jobs aren't finished either. Their jobs will be, will be finished at the uh, at the end of this age, right here, the, using these are the powers of the age to come. Uh, How would you like to be counseled by Job or Moses or Paul or Noah or, you know, wouldn't that, wouldn't that just be amazing? Enoch or Jeremiah or Abraham or Jacob or Isaac. Wouldn't it be awesome? David, you know. And then there's this, the spirit and the power and the counsel of might, you know, that um, Samson had. I mean, the man went out and killed 10,000 men with a, with, a, with a bone, you know, in no time. You know, so um, you're gonna you're gonna be able to have an opportunity to do that to have that also too, and it, but you gotta be prepared for it. You gotta be ready for these things. You gotta, you know, start fixing yourself voluntarily, and um, you know you gotta fix yourself, you know, on purpose. You know, and then stop waiting on God to do everything for you and do some things for yourself. You know, and, um, and the, the spirit of knowledge. You know. Knowing, being able to know right now, you know, be on the edge of knowing everything and knowing it without even having any foreknowledge about anything. You just, you'll get all these things and all, they'll come all together along with the fear of the Lord, which is wonderful. You can walk in the room and not even say a word and everybody want to get saved. And that's been happening. That That's happened. And um, that's a beautiful thing when you don't have to say a word and everybody wants to repent. And uh, they're afraid of the Lord. They're afraid of hell. You know, so these are the powers of the age to come. So if you want to be a part of the remnant um, team that's, that God is um, choosing, let them know. Keep talking to them. And pray this. Pray, pray uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 11, one, verses 1 through um, 5 often. You know, read it, pray it, live it. You know, want it. You know, you because you, you it'll be a sudden thing when it does happen. And you'll have dreams and visions. God will train you up with these wonderful things, but you got to know about them first in order to be able to step into these uh, this type of position. Because we're we're a royal priesthood, and we we actually sit with God, sit with the Lord all the time. We we sit with Him. I mean, I mean, you can't tell because of everything that's going on around you. But yeah, we're sitting with him right now, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. So, and you, you know, do a declaration, do a declaration with your family every day. You know, you can have a whole family of um, that um, is remnant, you know, and you might, you're not going to know about it, you know, 
a lot of people aren't going to know about it until it happens. But um, knowing about it beforehand is a wonderful thing, and desiring it is even better, you know. And if you if if you're listening, to, still listening to this video, you probably are chosen remnant, high priest of God, you know. So, and God will use you. So delve into you know. There's some videos uh, below, um, some some links, you know, to some of the teachers that I've been listening to for years, and. Um, they talk about the end times and they, they know what's going on because they walk with the Lord Jesus Christ physically every single just every single day. One of them passed away. He's still working on the other side. But um, these guys see the Lord all the time. <laughs> the Lord talks to them all the time. They go places with them. Take, they, the Lord takes some places, heaven, hell, you name it. All the courts in heaven is outer court, inner court, the holy place, different different levels of heaven. You know, most one of them seen the Most High God. One of them is um, on, on the Council of Abraham, which is with Enoch, Paul, Jeremiah, um, um, Noah, Moses, and there's more. But do this: do a declaration with your family every day. It doesn't have to be this one. And um, everybody will get a closer walk with God because it's time. And don't wait because if you keep waiting, um, you're going to run out of time. And it takes it takes a long time to get a relationship going. You know, to know anybody. I mean, if you if you ever tried to get married, you know it takes a while to get married unless you just jump into it. And even even after you jump into it, you still don't know the person. You still got to get to know the person. So, friends also too. You know, same type of deal. Relationships, friends, friendships, and stuff. It takes time. You know, so you don't want to wait to the last minute because uh, you'll be you'll make a bunch of wrong decisions and you might even cost your you and your family you know their own souls and stuff like that you don't want to do that you want to believe in God and you want to trust in God and you want to you want to know right now that he's going to help you the breakfast is going to be on the table in the morning when your cupboards are empty you know and your cupboards are going to be full the next day after you're going to have fresh water you know you're gonna, your lights will still be on when everybody else in the neighborhood's lights will be turned off and stuff and you'll have heat when everybody else is cold and stuff and this is not a bad thing because then they'll be coming over to your house eating your food getting your um, um, consuming your heat and um, taking your shelter and they all all get saved and that's what it's all about you need to learn about these things you know and the lord will re you do that you give everything you have away that you know, he's going to give it back to you uh, much much more you know on a daily basis, you know, you see, if anybody knows about the Bible, that's, that's leaking the, the oil, you know, that, that's one example, you know, that'll happen with your, in your life in so many different ways, you know, with money and stuff like that, you know, and, uh, and then keep talking to God and encourage your family to keep talking to God also too. And you guys, after you do your decoration, say a prayer one at a time all around the room, you know. And then go your separate ways and just continue to press into your relationship. God, worship him and praise him. You'll get a lot more from praising and worshiping him than you will anything else. Turn off the secular music. Turn on the gospel music. Throw your hands up and worship him and praise him for 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever. Just like you do in church. you know. And um, read your Bible. You know, Find something that you can read. You know, And um, then you... Read it until you get tired of it and then close the door, close the book and then sit back and meditate and think about what you read. Let the Lord speak to you through that. And if you're confused about something you read, you definitely shut the book and read something first, shut the book and then let him explain it to you. And that's how he works. So worship, praise, reading the Bible and um, fasting works great. And prayer, prayer, prayer is just simply having a conversation with God. That's what it is. You guys can um, subscribe to the channel now if you like and give a thumbs up. Ready? Mm -hmm. Isaiah ch uh, chapter 11, um, verses 1 through 5. And there shall come, come forth, forth a, 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 of the stem of Jesse, and a branch and shall grow out, out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of fear of the Lord. And he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge by right the sight of his own eyes, neither reprove the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness she shall judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, 
and the breath of his lips as he slay the wicked. And the righteous shall, shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. Lord, I repent for the remission of every sin I've ever committed in my entire life. And I thank you for forgiving me. Father, you are the rod, Lord, that came out of David's father, Jesse. Lord, you are, and I believe that we, you are the branch or we are the branches that grow out. And we are the branch that should grow out of your roots, our roots, Father. Father, we need these spirits to rise up inside of us now, Lord. Don't want to wait any longer to wait for them. Lord, we need to prepare us, Lord God, with the powers of the age to come, Lord Jesus. You're all of your personalities, all of your forces, Lord God. We want to work with you. We want to work for you. We want to do some incredible things for you, Lord. We want to be counted in that number. We are your children. We are the sons and daughters of God. And we want to stand beside you, Lord Jesus. We pray that the Spirit of the Lord rest upon us. Because I know that the Spirit of the Lord is in all of us now. And let the Spirit of the Lord rest on me, around me, in me, above me, below me, on my left side, my right side, my front and my back, Lord Jesus. I need this, Lord. I need the Spirit of wisdom, Lord Jesus. I don't know much about it. But I hear it's really nice to have, to be able to just to be wise, a wise son of God. And if it's yours, I know that it'll be perfect for me, Lord Jesus, all along with your power and your force and your angel of understanding. And also, you could be able to stand under you all the time, Lord Jesus Christ, and know you, to know you're there. And to be able to understand every situation that I go into, not having any foreknowledge about it whatsoever, and to be wise about it. Oh, that would be excellent. That way I can... Uh, utilize the spirit of counsel where it's needed, Lord Jesus, and utilize all the wonderful counselors that are ready to go to work and have been working until their destinies are finished here for this age. Father, the powers of the age to come are wonderful, and I want them all, especially the spirit of might, Lord Jesus Christ, because I'm going to need the energy, Lord Jesus, while I'm in this body, Lord that would be wonderful to have, Lord Jesus, along with the spirit, the force, the power, the angel of knowledge rise up inside of me now in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grow inside of me, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are the roots, Lord Jesus Christ, and I am the branches, the branch, Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, Father, for the spirit of the fear of the Lord. What a wonderful gift to be able to have, Lord Jesus. I pray for the powers of the all of the powers of the age to come to rise up inside of me and all of us right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And make me of quick understanding that I don't have to think hard, think long. It's just there. I just know. And I'm, because I'm standing under you. Quick understanding and the fear of the Lord. I can go into the room and everybody wants to get saved and not have to say a word. I can go into the room and everyone gets healed and I don't have to lay a hand on anybody. Just walk down the hall of the hospital, everybody get out of their hospital beds, and then walk out, the, walk out of the hospital with the fear of the Lord in them, and they're saved. That's perfect. And I know that's going to happen. Father, I want to be able to judge. I don't want to have to judge with, by looking or hearing from anybody. I don't want to, I don't want my, I want to be able to go places with my eyes closed and with earplugs in, Lord Jesus Christ. And be able to judge with righteousness. Your righteousness. That is perfect. Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to I don't want to judge people by what, what they say and all the gossip and well things that they say, you know, coming out of their mouths and stuff like that. I don't want to judge people by the way they look or you know I, that's that's not what I want to do. I want to do it your way, because your way is perfect with righteousness. I wanna I can judge the poor. And I can correct people with equality um, for the meek of the earth, for the humble of the earth, Lord Jesus Christ. And he shall smite the earth with, uh, with the rod of his mouth, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd love to, you know, make some great corrections for the people of God with my mouth and shut down the enemy, Lord Jesus Christ. Stop them, you know, send them to a hot place where they belong. That would be, that'd be perfect. Lord Jesus Christ, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. 
I love to just defend the people because the people are being being um, being abused horribly and they've been lied to and they've been stolen from and they don't know who they are Lord Jesus Christ so an opportunity to slay the wicked would be wonderful with all the with all the seven powers of God the powers of the age to come operating in me because and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness shall be the girdle of his reins that's me that's us that's your sons and daughters of God that is the remnant the righteous around our our loins and faithfulness to you as um, a girdle of his reins as you leading us and guiding us forever and ever and from now on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ feed shelter give fresh water to all of the people around the world who need it today fill up their bellies all the water that they need to drink a roof over their head heat clean clothes coats hats boots whatever they need Lord Jesus Christ I pray that you should you give it to them and show your face to them and let them know that you love every man, woman, child, every blade of grass individually, Lord Jesus Christ. And let them, let them, um, let them be saved. And Father, save everybody on this planet. And then once they're saved, keep them all. Keep us all. And never let us go back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen.